So here's Erin in the sensory room. She's in the ball pit there, look, and she's playing with the, the floating light tubes there. Here she is with Mummy. And, uh, oh, here she is asleep. Look, doesn't she look so cute? Oh, bless her, she's laughing there. She only just meant to laugh at that point. Oh, and here she is crawling, look. Oh, dear, what's, oh, oh, hello. Sorry, we didn't see that. Welcome to see and know. It's great that you're joining us and I hope that you're here with mum or dad or grandma or grandpa and you've had a great weekend. Sorry, we were just looking at some pictures of Aileen when she was a little bit younger. I'll get on to that in a minute though. But I guess we should find out who's here and who's watching this morning. So uh, we'll sing our song and I'll leave a nice big gap for you to say your name at home. Are you ready? Let's sing. Where is, where is, did you come, did you come, come to see and know? There you are, hello and welcome to see and know. Well, Flo and I were just looking at pictures of Ava, my daughter, and I love her very much, which is why I've got lots of pictures of her. And mummies and daddies really love their children, don't they? Now, are you a child? Are you a child? Yes, you are. Do you know any other children? Have you got any friends that are children? Yeah? What about other children in your family, maybe brothers or sisters? Well, Jesus, doesn't he flow? Jesus loves all children. And do you know how we know? It's because there's a special story in the Bible that tells us all about it, and we're gonna tell that in a minute. But first of all, I guess we need to practice our actions. So Flo, I'm just gonna move you back here, if that's all right, so you can sit by yourself. And uh, that gives me a bit of space to do my actions. Are you ready? Here we go. So the first one is we're gonna beckon. We're gonna say, come here, come here, with our hands. Are you there? we go. And then we're gonna shake our heads and shoo away. So we're gonna do the opposite of the beckon. And then we're gonna beckon again. So that's our, our third action. And then we're gonna rock with our arms like we were holding a baby. Okay, so we just go through those quickly. So it's first of all, it's beckon, come here. And then we're gonna go shake our heads and shoo them away. Then we're gonna beckon them again. And then we're gonna rock our arms like we're holding a baby. Do you think you can remember those? Well, then let's tell our story seen and heard. So Jesus was with his friends, the disciples, and some people brought their children to meet Jesus. Let's beckon them, let's come over here, come on. Jesus' friends told them to go away. No, shoo them away. They can't see Jesus now. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me. And he beckoned them over. Come on then, let me see you. And he held them and he loved them. Let's rock our arms like we're holding a baby. Jesus loves children. Now that's the end of our story today. We're going to tell it again to remind ourselves what happened. Okay, so Jesus was with his friends, the disciples. And some people brought their children to see Jesus. Come on, kids, let's go and see Jesus. That's it, beckon them here. And Jesus' friends told them to go away. No, shoo, go on, go away. But Jesus said, let the children come to me. And he beckoned them, come on then, let me come and see you. Jesus held them and he loved them. Let's rock our arms like we're holding a baby. Jesus loves children. Isn't it wonderful that Jesus loves us so much? Doesn't matter how old we are, right from the tiniest little baby, through to when we're big and old, like maybe mummy or daddy or grandma and grandpa. Jesus loves us all the same. We're all very special to him. And he wants you and he wants me to have that friendship with him. Just like those children who got to come and see Jesus, we get to meet Jesus as well. We don't get to see him, but we get to talk to him and we get to have a friendship with him. Okay, so I think that's absolutely amazing. Now we're gonna sing our song and we're gonna sing Jesus Loves Me this I know, which is the perfect one for this story, isn't it? Are you ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Should we sing it one more time? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. 
Let all ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Brilliant. Well, we've got a couple of suggestions of crafts this week and they revolve around the same thing, which is gingerbread men. Now, if you can get hold of them or you want to bake them with mummy or daddy or, or grandma or grandpa, you might want to make some gingerbread men and then decorate them as yourself and maybe some of your friends or your family. Okay, to remind us that God loves all the children, just like you. Or you might, if you haven't got uh, gingerbread men or you can't make them, you might want to um, draw some gingerbread men and colour them in and uh, paint them as your friends as well. Okay, so a similar idea to each other, but one you get to eat yummy scrummy gingerbread biscuits if you've got them. The other one you get to get nice and messy making them on paper. Okay, so just a reminder that God loves each and every one of us and our friends as well. Okay, we're going to finish with our prayer, so we need our wiggly fingers. So have you got your wiggly fingers ready? Brilliant. Okay, we're going to wiggle our fingers up to the ceiling. We're going to wiggle our fingers down to the ground. We're going to wiggle our fingers up to the ceiling. We're going to wiggle our fingers down to the ground. We open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap. We open and shut them. Open and shut them, put them on your lap. We put one little hand over one little eye, the other little hand over the other little eye. Bow our little heads and say a little prayer. Talk to God. Dear God, we thank you that the Bible tells us that you love us so much. And it doesn't matter how old we are, we are precious and special to you. Help us to remember that you love us so much and help us to remind our friends that you love them as well and help us to have that friendship with you that you promise in your Bible. Help us this week to love you, to love ourselves and to love those around us just a little bit more. Amen. Brilliant. Well, thank you for joining me and Flo this morning uh, for our story Seen and Heard and I hope you have a great week. We've got our sing-along on Friday and of course we've got the one service on Sunday so hopefully we'll see you at those. But if not, we'll be back next week with seeing No again. So have a great week. See you soon. Bye.